What's up guys, I got my sound system for my Atherin-9 um, on Friday. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't have enough time to make a video because I was going camping and we just left right away once I got it. So I just got back today and I had enough time to play with it. I adjusted the CVs, I changed the loudness um, of the horn, made that full, and I did cut the bell in half. Uh, you know, bells really aren't as loud as the horn. That's how it was set up originally. Here are the list of the CVs. Um, I'll start it up for you first before I talk about that. Uh, the speaker had popped the radiator plate out. I'm getting an etched radiator plate. Smooth. Um, I'm getting an etched radiator plate, so the sound will come out of it really nicely. I'll find a whole way to hold that in there. It's not. That's just temporary. Uh, let's turn it on, it'll do the start up, and then I'll show you the functions. So, uh, Tsunami, Soundtrack Tsunami, um, FDL-16 sound. With the C44s had. Oops. Now I'll talk about the CVs. Um, a lot of functions on this. Nice ones, like they work really nicely. I'll talk about the functions here. Uh, I'll just let you read them because if I, if I say them out loud, there's really no point. So here you go. Okay. Um, start with the horn. I've been looking at videos of Beyonce 617, and this is the horn that I th I'm pretty sure it had. This is the closest one. There's a total of 15 different horns on this decoder that you can choose from. It's extremely nice because um, it's just you have choices. If you don't like the sound that's on there, change it up. That's the one I chose. Okay, here's the bell. Notice how quiet it is compared to the horn. Realistic. I actually had it quieter before, but that wasn't as realistic. That was a little bit too quiet. Okay, uh, let's go on with other functions. Three is a short horn. Well, you got the one, two, which is the same as bell and horn. Bell is one. To his horn, you can hold it down as long as you want. Then you got three short horn. Four what was four. I'm sorry, that's dynamic break. That's really cool, actually. You have the dynamic break sound, like full dynamics, pretty much. A little bit vibrating the shell there, but that's really no big deal. I can always turn the volume down. Uh, then we got five and six. I don't think those really do anything. I didn't understand it. You have to read about it. And then um, you got seven, which is a dimmer. And then eight will just mute it, which is kind of nice if it gets loud at times. And if you hit eight again, it'll just bring it back up. Uh, radiator fans. I don't think I have those at high enough sound to actually hear them and then you got the the shift functions which are at the bottom which you got the shift 10 shift 11 shift 12 uh, I call them shift functions because these you just hit these have to hit shift that hopefully makes sense uh, shift 10 shift 10 you got the oh, shift 10 again I'm sorry Shift 10 is the air compressor. That's cool. I did that once in a while after I um, am done braking because there's a brake function on here too. That uh, wrong one. It might be a little bit loud. I can always adjust that. No big deal. 
F11. We've got the brake. And then once you stop, the, the squealing will stop. And then if you hit F11 again, it'll do the sound when the brakes are letting off. It's really pretty cool. So here, I'll move it for you. I'll just start moving it. Um, and then once that's completed, we'll pull our first train around the layout with this engine fully because I haven't had a chance yet. I only ran it back and forth across the crossing a few times. So we're going to start it up. Two honks. Then you got the accelerating. I love that sound, the G. And now we're gonna we're gonna accelerate a little bit more here. And we're gonna do the squealing. I'm going to reverse it, but now we, what we have to do before you can actually reverse it and start moving, it doesn't, you can actually just keep going, but just make it realistic, you let off the brake by hitting F11 again. There you go, and now you can go in reverse. So you got to get three on. Now we'll come to a stop over here. There you go. Well, you should actually have the brake on, but whatever. Um, well, since that pretty much covers all the functions, except for F12, which I'll show you here in a minute. Um, we're going to back up to our train. Uh, this is going to be kind of hard to do holding the camera, but I'll try my hardest, guys. Um, I'm going to reverse it here. And then I'm going to do the coupler clank when it um, couplers up. And then uh, I'll do the squealing and the coupler. It'll be pretty cool. Here it goes. Oh, three, sorry. I'm going to do the brakes a little bit earlier than they actually would. Yeah, that was a little bit rough, sorry. If I wasn't holding the camera, I'll do it again. Let me to do it again? I'll do it again. Um, couple it. Pull this thing forward. Left the brake here. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna sit on the camera this time. You won't get the best angle, but it'll sound better. Okay, here it goes. Hopefully, this works out better. That was still a little bit rough, but hey, it was better than before. Okay. This is going to be official. First time around the layout. Here it goes. We're going to go off the brake. Kind of getting the long video here, sorry. I'll make part two of going around the layout. Sorry.